And this is the reason why we love Switzerland so, so much. And we're back. Hello. Hello. Today we will keep it short up here because we're a little late to go because we have to catch a train with our car. So I will pop us down to the car and then we see you guys down and we see you on the road and then we will tell you where we go. So let's go down in three, two, one. And we're down in the garage as usual. Get our stuff in here and then we're back on the road. So let's get our stuff here and then see you in the car. again <laughs> so welcome in the car we are actually doing a little pit stop so Claude is bringing us some drinks and some snacks I hope some chocolates with chocolate of course and after that we will head back to the highway and then we go straight to Canton Valais it's not the simple way to get there because you have to go to a train with a car so stay tuned for that and see you back on the highway ah and by the way have you seen my amazing hat isn't it beautiful so maybe some merch incoming nah not <laughs> <laughs> but I really like that dope hat. I will link down the young talented lady who made our logo So I will link her Instagram down check her out leave a like leave a comment and if you want follow her channel So now back to the road Here. Let me get it So guys, oh, one second. When you're on road tripping in Switzerland, what we love are those, we call those, I, I think it's a silsalit? Yeah. Sil -salit? yeah. You, you, you see what it is, bread with salami and cheese. When we were kids, we were always eating those. <laughs> and for, for us, it's so, you feel Typically like- Typically road trip. Yeah. <laughs> when you go on a road trip, your, your mom or your dad made those. And so that's why we always take those with us. Now I think it's round about one hour to the train station in Kandestek where we'll um, take that car on the train and from there we will go to Canton Valais. So we we'll see you at the train. Well guys, and like you saw, we already paid so you can book this ticket um, online it's a little bit cheaper and right there you can see the train and we have to wait here now till the next train arrives so we're waiting here and after that we will hit on the train drive through the mountain straight to Valais and hope for good weather and hope for good weather we will see Push the and we are on the train through the mountain yeah our jeep train situation thing. We will be here for I think 20 minutes. Yeah. 20 minutes to get through and from there on I think it's around about one hour, one and a half hour until we arrive in Randa. Uh, Randa is that town where we have been on the longest suspension bridge. I don't know if you have seen the video. I will link the video down so that you can see it. It's really epic. We will eat some, I don't know, chocolate? Do we have chocolate? Yeah. Yeah, we have chocolate. <laughs> and see you on the other side. Guys, we arrived here on our little camp spot and <laughs> the house is pretty cute. We were just looking for something cheap because we were gone here just for one or two days and now we got <laughs> this Aww. here. Our little tiny shelter here. Perfect. So, How room cool. tour <laughs> over. <laughs> and this will be our home for the next two days or more or less for the next two nights because we are just here for the night. Tomorrow we will go for a hike and then we come back in the evening, sleep here and then we drive home. That's why we choose that. And now we will take our bags, bring it in here and have a little look around what we can find here. So, see you in a second. Mm. 
so guys, and that is our first day from three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And we will go to bed now here with Claudia up in the back. Is she somewhere? Oh. Hello. Hello. And yeah, see you guys tomorrow morning. Good night. Good morning, guys. So it is 6 a.m. in the morning. Um, I'm totally sleepy, but I have to show you something. guys and welcome to Saramat. We drove down from um, Dash with the train up here so that we can now walk across the whole of Saramat and go to a... it is kind of a, a train but it's, it's going up very stiff. So we have to cross Saramat, go there and then we will go to the... what is the point called? Blau? Blauherd? Blauherd. Yeah. And from there on we will start our hike. So, guys, have you ever seen a cloud that is formed perfectly like the mountain? So <laughs> there's the Matterhorn, and there's this mother F U C K E R <laughs> kind of cloud. But still, amazing and great, beautiful. Look at the weather we can have, guys. Yeah. Switzerland so so much or is it yeah you can't describe how beautiful it is yeah. to be here it's really hard to catch it with the camera but we try our best for those who can come here and just because we love it and if you have the chance come to Switzerland and enjoy that by yourself because it's totally worth the money you pay for Switzerland in my opinion that's true yeah, yeah. so we're gonna sit here a little bit on this tiny cute bank Park, park, bank, I don't know. Um, that's another thing in Switzerland I love. You are in the middle of nowhere, nothing is here, but someone thought someone would love to sit here. So we take here and then they can rest here. So perfect. We will sit yeah, here. and they also ride. Great to see you. And this is the 
third or fourth lake we have on our trip here. It's pretty dope as you can see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Today it's a little bit crowded here because here's a marathon happening. Yeah. Um, I think it's one of the biggest in Switzerland and of course one of the most beautiful. So the people are coming from everywhere around the world to run in this scenery and go swim those lakes here up. Back in the day. Back in the day. So guys, one hour left I think, two lakes left. We're in the middle of some epic, uh, one epic forest here. The trees look like straight from Lord of the Rings or something like that. When I turn around the camera, for example, this one. Pretty dope. If a tree can be dope. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so we picked up some water at the restaurant. We drink some beer and a nice tea. Of course, Claudia had the beer. And apricot sorbet. Yeah. And did you know, Valais is known for their apricots. Yeah, so over 90% of the apricots in Switzerland will come from here, from Valais. 97. 97, I'm sorry. I'm the unknown German. Yeah. <laughs> They're pretty good. And a lot of people think um, Valais is just snow and mountains, but it's not because it has those valleys and there on the cliffs they have the apricot trees. You should keep your eyes open when you're with your car on the road because everywhere on the road um, there are those little, I don't know, stores, I don't know how to call it, kiosks where they sell fresh. So when you like apricots, you should stop and try them and take some with you for your hike. Then here you can see one of the most epic spots on this trip for me. Claudia too, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> and as you can see here, there's the Matterhorn, there's some Caribbean blue ice water. <laughs> and yeah, it's just stunning. One of the most epic places on this trek, right here. Yeah, that blue lake. Uh, damn it, that bird. <laughs> and in the back, the where is it? Over there, Ooh, there, the epic Matterhorn. And finally, we can see it, more or less, in its whole beautiness. That was one of the last lakes, I think. No. One more. One more. Yeah. So many lakes. Um. <sighs> and we also have the most epic sunburn. <laughs> Claudia has on her arms, yeah. on her See? private area. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So, time to go up the hill. Till now we had 90% going down. Yeah. Now there comes the fun part. Going back up. We made it to the final <gasps> lake. With some help from Claudia's some drugs. <laughs> asthma spray. <laughs> we made it up to the last lake here on the station. Um, the last one is actually, a, how do you say, a swimming lake, yeah. bathing lake. So you have there a little playground and you can go for a dip in the water. So pretty awesome. From over there, it goes up to the station. And oh, let's give it a second. Um, ooh, windy. And from there, we will go down to the car. And from there, we will cruise homewards. Yeah. So that's it for the hiking. So we will go around the lake and then up and then down and then we're down. So thanks for watching. No, I'm kidding. We will head you back in a few seconds when we're in the car. <laughs> Thank you.
So guys, and that concludes our trip to Sermat, concludes our trip to those five amazing lakes. Or from my opinion, four amazing lakes and one children lake, but <laughs> <laughs> that's another story. So, we will drive that amazing car here from Jeep home. Still alive. <laughs> and yeah, see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing time. Goodbye, guys. Bye. Bye.